If you've got a good launching spot, then getting in and out of your kayak is really easy. On the beach, you place your kayak right on the sand, hop in and push off using your hands and paddle away. If you don't want to slide your kayak across the sand, you can float your kayak in a few inches of water, straddle the boat with one leg on either side using your feet to balance. Next, sit down in the seat and lastly, pull your legs inside the kayak. Either technique is very simple. To get out on the beach, just paddle your kayak up onto the sand so that the boat beaches or go relatively close to the sand so that your kayak is floating in a few inches of water. From here, you can balance to get out by stepping your feet out one at a time. If you're getting in and out on an uneven shoreline, then you can use your paddle to help you balance. Line your kayak up parallel to the shoreline. Then set your paddle across the back of the cockpit so that half the paddle crosses the boat and the other half lies on the shore. To get in, position your body in front of the paddle and hold the paddle with your hands behind you. Place your feet in the kayak and quickly sit down in the seat while maintaining an even weight distribution across your paddle. If you don't keep your weight evenly dispersed between the end of your paddle on your boat and the other end on shore, your balance will become very unstable. To get out, you can use the same technique in reverse. It's important to feel comfortable in your kayak, but you don't want to relax so much that you look like you're sitting in a lounge chair. Most kayaks now come with back support that looks like it's inviting you to slouch and lean back. The idea behind the backrest is actually to keep you from leaning back. Even though it may feel relaxing and comfortable initially, leaning way back is actually quite hard on your shoulders and lower back. Not to mention that it's pretty tough to paddle when you're leaning way back here. Kicking back and enjoying your kayak trip is important, but when you're paddling, it's important to sit up nice and straight. You want to use your backrest as a support for your lower back to keep you nice and upright. You want to feel like your chest is lifted. The balls of your feet should press firmly against the foot pedals and your knees should drop out to either side. If you feel pain or discomfort in your lower back after kayaking, it may be because you're slouching back too much or because your hips and your hamstrings are tight. It's important to stretch before you kayak and it can be beneficial to do so after you kayak as well. Stretching your hamstrings with forward folds and the front of your hips with lunges are a good place to start. If you're using a spray skirt for your sit-inside kayak, you'll want to put it on once you're comfortably seated in the boat. To put your spray skirt on, lean back so that you can place the skirt around the back cockpit rim first. It's much easier to put the back of the skirt on before the front. Make sure that the skirt is on the back of the cockpit all the way to your hips before trying to put it over the front of the cockpit. If you're wearing a spray skirt, it's very important to make sure that your pull cord is on the outside of the skirt once it's over the cockpit rim. If the pull cord is tucked under your skirt, it will be harder for you to get your skirt off because you'll have no way to pull it off. So always check to make sure that the cord is on the outside of the skirt before you head off to paddle. If you're paddling a rec kayak without thigh braces and without a spray skirt, then you don't need to practice the wet exit because you'll automatically fall out when your kayak flips upside down. It's important to practice the wet exit the first time you get into your touring kayak so that you know what to do if you flip over unintentionally and you know what it feels like. It's still very easy to get out of your touring kayak, even if it has thigh braces and you're wearing a spray skirt due to the natural pull of gravity. To practice, get into your kayak and paddle out in a safe, flat area that is deep enough for you to flip over, but relatively close to shore. Flip yourself over and reach forward and pull on the pull cord to your spray skirt to pull the skirt off of your cockpit. Then place your hands on your kayak beside your hips and push yourself out of your kayak in a forward somersault. If you're not wearing a spray skirt, then you don't have to worry about pulling the handle to release the skirt. It's common for people to lean back when they first try to push themselves out of the kayak. 
This actually makes it harder to get out because in leaning back, you press your thighs more firmly into the thigh braces. In this position, you have to do more wriggling around to get out, but you still get out relatively quickly. You can let go of your paddle to do a wet exit or hold it in one hand. Once you're out of your boat and on the surface, grab your paddle and kayak and swim to shore. You may want to practice the wet exit a few times so that you get comfortable with getting out of your boat. The more comfortable you feel about being able to get out of your kayak, the less worry you'll have when you're out on the water. The first thing we need to do to learn how to use the paddle is to find the right hand position. Lift your paddle over your head and place the middle of the shaft on the middle of the top of your head. Move your hands along the shaft until your elbows are bent at 90 degree angles. Both hands should be at equal distances from each paddle blade and should not move from this position. You'll notice that your hand position is wide, which will allow you more power from your core when paddling. Your knuckles should be lined up with the tops of your blades and this curved surface of the blade called the power face should always be facing you when you're paddling. You'll notice that the blade is asymmetrical and the longer part of the paddle blade should always face up. If you have a feathered paddle, then you'll use one hand, the right hand for right-handed people and the left hand for left-handed people as a control hand that grips the paddle firmly and rotates the paddle up and down slightly depending on the feather. Your other hand has a light grip on the paddle which allows the shaft to rotate so that each blade hits the water with the right angle for good purchase for your stroke. Skags and rudders can help you better control your kayak. Keeping your boat straight can be challenging at times, especially in high winds. And by using a skag or rudder, you can keep your kayak straight without the extra work of always having to paddle on one side against the wind. Rudders flip down from their stored position on top of the deck with the use of hull lines found alongside the cockpit and are then controlled by your foot pedals. Rudders are a great addition to your kayak because they really help you turn and change direction.